In this video, you will learn how to redirect input, output and error messages in the Linux command line. Your Linux system handles information in the following way. The standard input is usually what is produced by your keyboard, so this is what you type. This input goes to the program, and the program processes this information, and it outputs two kinds of information. The first is the standard output, so this is what you expected the program to produce, and the standard error. So this message indicates what went wrong during the processing of the information you inputted. In this tutorial you will learn how to handle these different kind of outputs. You will learn how to separate the standard output and standard error messages into different files, and you will also learn how to handle input from the Linux command line. I hope you already know the command ls with option L, which lists the content of the directory. And in this case I will list the content of the directory usr bin. And as you can see this output is very lengthy because there are many files in the directory. Let's assume you need the information about all these files and you want to save it in a file. So to do that you again type the same command, but then you type the redirection sign and you give a name of a file. Let's call it bin.out. And if you open this file with the command ls, you can see this is the output of the command ls for the folder usr bin. I press the key q to exit from the ls command. So now let's list a directory which doesn't exist. Again, I type ls with option l and I name the directory not present. And I will redirect it to a file bin. So as you see, this directory doesn't exist and I've got this error message. But let's see what happened to the bin file. I open it again and it is empty. So the previous content has been erased and nothing has been written to this file. This is because the output of the command ls for the folder which doesn't exist was only the error message and there was no standard output, so there was only the error output. But this redirection doesn't save the error output, it only saves the standard output. If you want to save the error output, you need to modify this command with the number 2 here and run it again. So now when I open the bin file, you can see here is the error message. So this command has outputted the error message to the file bin. So let's make it even more complicated. We will list the directory which doesn't exist and in addition to this we will also list the directory which exists. So this is again our usr bin directory. So what happened this time? So we've got the standard output here, but what happened if we make the redirection only of the error message? So we've got the standard output to the screen, and if we open the bin file, we've got the error message in that file, but the standard output is not in this file. So this way, you can separate the standard output and the standard error message. But let's assume you want to have your standard output and standard error message in one file. To do that, you just need to use end sign and redirection. As you see, nothing has appeared on the screen, but if I open the bin file, you can see we have the error message and we have also the standard output of the content of the directory usr bin. And there is one more thing I wanted to show you. For example, if I list the content now, you can see that this is the size of the current bin file. But let's assume when you output information in this file, you don't want this file to be overwritten, you just want to append information. To do that, you again type whatever command you want. For example, let's list the content of the current working directory and we want it to append to the bin file. To do that, you need to type double redirection and the name of the output file. Let's run it. And now if I open the bin file and I scroll down, you can see this is the output of USR bin folder and this is the output of my home folder, so it has been appended at the end of the file. 
So if you want just to append information, you can use double redirection. And it will work the same way if you want to output just error messages, so you place two here, or if you want to output both error messages and the standard output, you need to just add add sign here. In some cases, you also may need to completely discard your output, both the error message and the standard output. To do that, you simply type the command you want to run, and then you redirect your output to the new device. So we redirect it to dev, no. As you can see, nothing appears on the screen, because everything has been discarded. This command can be useful when you run some jobs on a server, and there is a lengthy output which you actually don't need. Or if you do some programming, and you just want to discard the output. Now let's talk about the standard input. As I mentioned before, this is what you type on your keyboard. But the standard input can be also something else. For example, it can be information from a file. And in Linux, the standard input can be handled by the command cat. You type cat, and then you press enter. And here you type any information. As you see, when I pressed enter, it printed me this information on the screen. And to exit from the command cut, you just press ctrl D. You can create files using cat. If you type cat, then you want to redirect your input to the file, file1.txt, and you start typing some information. For example, this is file1 and you press Ctrl D to exit from the command cat. As you can see, this is a file we have just created. The command cat can also accept the input information from the file, not from your keyboard. You type cat and the name of the file, and it will print you on the screen the information from the file. So this is what we have typed before. So the advantage of the command cat, and this is where I use it most of the time, is if you just want to see the content of small files, or if you want to concatenate information from many files. So in this example I will use just my two files. So this is the file from the previous example bin file, and the file we have just created. And let's redirect the output of these two files into file 1, 2. Press enter. So now if I open the file 1, 2, and as you can see, this is the information from file bin and everything about it, and this is the information from the second file, which we have just created. So this way you can concatenate as many files as you want into one large file. This can be very useful sometimes. So let me summarize what you have learned in this video. If you want to redirect the standard output, you just use the redirection sign. If you don't want this redirection to override the content of the file, which already exists, you can use double redirection, and it will append the information to the file which already existed, for example. If you want to redirect only the error message, you just need to type 2 and redirect the information. If you want to redirect both the standard output and the error message, you can use add sign and redirection. To discard the output, you can redirect it to the new device. To handle the standard input, you can use a common cat. You can use it, for example, to check the content of small files, you can use it to create files, and you can use it also to concatenate many files together. So now you know how your Linux handles input, output, and error messages. And you can redirect them the way you want. Thank you for watching.